Hi everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we get to talk about Cloud Control and this is published by 25th Century Games. <gasps> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see our videos as they come out. Cloud Control, uh, this is a game all about making shapes. You are making shapes and pictures out of clouds. It's just like when you're a kid again looking up at the sky. You see a, I don't know, a manatee. Is that what you see when you see a manatee? A manatee? Wearing a sombrero. That, no. You see like dogs and stuff. I saw a manatee when I was a kid in the sky once. <laughs> and that's what I think of every time I play this game. <laughs> All right, let me give you a quick overview of how it plays. All right, here is our setup for cloud control. We've got 16 different shapes out here and we have four of each one. We're gonna be using those to make a picture. Uh, so basically it's kind of like a kind of like a Pictionary situation, but only using these cloud shapes. So when it's your turn, you're going to flip over one of these cards. And there's a whole bunch of different words on here. Uh, so let's say this one says mouth leaf for one point each. And then we have grasshopper and we have weights for two or three points each. At the very bottom, we have a lightning round word for bank. You can ignore that for now. What you're trying to do is you're trying to build those in any order you want. And you're trying to get the people around you to guess those. So for instance, if you get someone to guess mouth, you would get one point for making it well, and the person who guessed it would get a point for guessing it correctly. So let's do, let's see if we can do weights first. All right, so we're gonna flip the timer over. It's 90 seconds long. I'm gonna put that out there. I'm trying to make a barbell situation, right? Something like that. Maybe someone guesses it, maybe not. But what you can do is you can move these cloud shapes around. So like, oh, you're lifting it. We can't make noise. That's that's illegal too. Yeah, you can animate the cards to make it make it make, make it do something that makes sense to people. Or if that's not working for some reason, maybe the kettle ball. So you grab that and you grab a couple of these little small ones here. And same thing, you lift it. Or whatever. Let's say somebody grabs it. Okay, you put all these back if you want. Now we're gonna try to make a mouth. That one's worth one point a piece. So you could like, just, you could do that or whatever. And then if someone guesses it, again, you get a point and they get a point. You're trying to get through your whole card before that timer runs out. In the rule book, they made a really awesome cat. Uh, that's pretty advanced. You don't always have the time or the thought process to make something like that, but that gives you the idea of what the kind of things that you can make with all these different cloud shapes. So first of all, everyone's gonna have a chance to have a turn, but then there's going to be a lightning round. That's when you do, you know, that bottom word on the card like that. What you're gonna do for that lightning round is every player is gonna go around the table, drafting one card at a time. So this is gonna be mine. Uh, someone else might take this one. Uh, goes all on the table. You know what? I want this one now, or whatever it is. So everyone's drafting their own things uh, to try to build this word. In this case, it's bank. I'm not even gonna try to build it. <laughs> but what's gonna happen is at the very end of that all. Uh, you're going to basically show off your bank that you made and everyone's gonna vote on who they think made the best bank You cannot vote for yourself So you're gonna do like a one two three point kind of a thing and whoever has the most points is gonna get an extra five points So that's gonna be kind of a nice way to get uh, maybe a catch-up mechanism or award someone who had a truly creative uh, Way of making a word then we're going back to the regular rules everyone's gonna have one more turn to draw one of these cards do all the words that are on it and as much time as the, you know, as fast as they can in the 90 second timer. And you know, you're going to get points and your opponents are going to get points based off how well they were able to guess your items. If there's ever a tie or a situation where two people call out the answer at the exact same time, they're both going to get the points. This is not an aggressive game. This is a, a fun party setting game. So really just everyone gets points, which is kind of a nice way of doing that. All right, so at the end of having one round, then a lightning round, and then another round, whoever has the most points is going to be the winner. So let me just say that our daughter loved this game. She was like a savant. <laughs> she was making like shapes that like I thought would have thought impossible. Yeah, but we like <laughs> we were able to guess everything she was doing. Yeah, like she... we just like it worked. She got it. She got all those like the things out there and she just pieced them all together. I mean, all she does is create crafts all day and this was just like a set aside craft. Uh, craft, was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gamified. Gamified craft. Yeah, I mean, I th compared to a game I'd say Pictionary where you're just drawing and it's very, you know, you know, team A and team B, uh, this is a fantastic, uh, you know, 
option for that because you're playing, you know, you are your own team, but you're also trying to get everyone else to guess as well. So you can play with an odd number, like three or five or seven or whatever. I thought that really worked well in this game, having the, the teams not be teams. Yeah. And, um, so some people's brains are really good at like spatial things, like really good at them. Like our daughter. <laughs> like our daughter, right? Um, I am not one of those people. I remember in the lightning round, I just stopped. I'm like, I can't think of anything to like, make I, this No, happen. I'm not going to get the five points. <laughs> just give up now. I'm just like, I can't even, like, I see all these, like, shapes. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to make this a thing. <laughs> and our daughter did, like, a really good job. I'm like, that's a great idea. I just, like, I don't know. Like... If you if you have a brain similar to mine, you might struggle with like the spatial reasoning of all these like clouds and stuff. Honestly, I thought this game was a hilarious hoot. We like my brother in law was over. We played with him, and he was making you know the the idea that you can move pieces as part of it as well. Not, it's not because you're making the animal, that like you're making the shapes or whatever, but then you can also get to kind of move pieces of it to kind of help you yeah. along. Uh, it's just a really cool kind of really clever, um, and uh, I love the way it makes your brain think, both in terms of guessing, yeah. like what. Like, what is that? Like, what are you trying to tell us? But also in terms of making, like, I've got very big constraints here. I'm going to these 16 shapes to make this very detailed thing. Like, how do I do it? And, <laughs> and I just love how it makes your brain think. Um, or not think. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I think all of us at the table when we were playing it uh, during our plays were not huge fans of the lightning round. Um, that seemed like it was like this weird, like, uh, like halt to the flow of the game. Yeah. And it was also like, you know, very, even, even more limiting is like, okay, I need, okay, in order to do this thing, I need to have at least three lines. Well, guess what? Everyone else thought the same thing. You get one line <laughs> or, or no lines if yeah. you're playing with more players. And it doesn't really encourage you to vote for the best. You just kind of want to vote for where... Whoever, Whoever has the least amount the of points. The least amount of points, yeah. So it's a nice catch-up mechanism in that regard, but it, as far as a, uh, you know... You might necessarily, you know, reward the person with the best idea. Yeah, but Ryan was talking um, before we started reviewing this that it, he want, he would like to play this game kind of like how we play Concept, where we don't actually yes. like keep score. You just kind of play it kind of as like a mental exercise that you're playing with people, specifically like a family, and then you go on to something else. Like yeah, you, don't you just really... make, you play a couple cards yeah. worth of like making the shapes, getting people to guess, uh, just have fun. You know, you know, if you already have so many constraints, why be constrained by points on top of that? <laughs> you know, so um, this is just, I thought it's just a really fun um, exercise, a way to spend time as a game. Um, it's not one that I would suggest for parties. I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably bring this to parties unless, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I boring you with my? Oh, oh my! Oh, pardon me. No, I thought this was. It was all the brain burningness of the game. It's exhausting. Brain me. She's like crushing like Felds and sort of games, but, but I no, can't but like do shapes. <laughs> cloud control like broke her. <laughs> No, like I said, a lot of fun, you know, good family time. This is not like an adult party game we're going to bring to a party, have a bunch of people play it. But it's family settings. It's, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching it. Make sure to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. And you can follow us in all the places. On Facebook, we are Ryan Bethany Board Game Reviews. On Twitter, we are Ryan and Bethany one and on Instagram, we are Ryan and Bethany. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.